Hey everyone, it's me here, Kimball, out here, seated comfortably next to my comfrey patch. This is one of three comfrey patches that I have on this little plot of land where I live. And I want to tell you a story. I think it's an amazing story. It's a story of how comfrey saved me a trip to the doctor several years ago. And if you stick to the very end of this video, I'm going to show you something that you maybe you have never seen before that I'm pretty excited about that is in this comfrey. But I'll tell you the story first. Several years ago, I was working at some project, I don't remember what it was, woodworking of, of some sort, I think, and I got something in my eye, I scratched my eye. If you've ever scratched your eye, your, the lens of your eye, you know what I'm talking about. It's very irritating. It feels like something's in your eye. You really can't open your eye. It's sensitive to light. And, um, and it, it's just uh, one of those things where, oh no, I've really done it now. And you off, you go to the hospital, emergency care. And somewhere in my way back history, I did that. So I knew, I knew what was going on. I had scratched my eye again and it was irritated. And I knew that, well, if you, go to the doctor, they may give you some drops, they're gonna put a patch over your eye, and they're gonna tell you, go home and uh, take it easy, and it'll fix itself. So, um, with that in mind, I decided I'm not, I'm not going to the doctor, and it would take wild horses to uh, drag me to a doctor anyways. The last time, I'm 64 years old, the last time I had a physical by a doctor, I was 18 years old. So, I, I'm not gonna bother going now. And I didn't want to go back then. Uh, so I got thinking about comfrey. And you may know that comfrey has legendary uh, healing properties of, of uh, healing wounds, of healing bones. I think one of the names of comfrey is knit bone. And so comfrey has this reputation. And I thought to myself, well, I wonder if I put comfrey on my eye if it might stop this intense irritation. So, with that in mind, I picked a bunch of comfrey leaves out here, and I took them in the house, and I put them in a little magic bullet blender, very handy little kitchen tool, and with a little water, and I made a, a mash, I made a slurry of uh, comfrey leaves, fresh comfrey leaves, and then I uh, went over and I laid on the living room couch. I put, a, I put a towel on and I laid my head on the towel and I took a, this wet green mass of comfrey. I closed my eye and I plopped it on my eye. And I just, and the, you know, the comfrey juice has come dripping down on my face, but I just, with my eye closed and that comfrey, I think it would be called a poultice, right? With that right there like that, I laid there for one half hour. And then I took that comfrey off my eye. I opened my eye and it was like I had never had anything wrong with it. It was 100% cured. So I've told my kids this. If you ever scratch your eye, uh, get a scratch on your, your eye lens, you know, if we got comfrey, if it's summer, fall, spring, when the comfrey is growing, come on down, I'll fix you up. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing medicine without a license, yes. But uh, it happened. I, I can't remember if it was my son or my daughter-in-law. One of them called up and said, I think I scratched my eye. Uh, can we do that comfrey thing? And I said, yeah, sure, come on down. And we did the exact same thing. Wet. Uh, comfrey mash on the closed eye, lay on the couch, half an hour, fixed it. Fixed it, 100%. So, I'm not uh, practicing medicine to you, I'm just recounting the uh, experience that I had. And I'm, uh, I, it amazed me because my eye was really irritated. And, uh, and you know, who knows how long it would have taken to fix itself without the comfrey? I don't know, but the comfrey did it. All right, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, I'm gonna get behind the camera and I'm gonna show you something I'm very pleased with 
right here in my comfrey patch. What could it be? Something very neat. You see it? Right there. That is a chestnut tree. A chestnut tree seedling that I planted last fall. I have a friend who's really into bringing back the chestnut tree and growing them on his property and he gave me four seedlings and that's one of them and they're all doing okay. This one's doing the best. What a coincidence, it's planted among the comfrey. <laughs> I'm about to cut down much of this comfrey, especially around this tree, to, so it can get the sunlight and I'm going to use the comfrey for fertilizer in my garden, which is another great use for this amazing plant. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next one.